Hey, good morning, everybody. It's uh, Chris here and my bride. We're over here in eastern Washington, and we're getting ready to go on a little tour today. We're going to take go and hit a bunch of ghost towns that are over in the, this part of the state. So I'm looking forward to doing that. Got a nice day here, as you can see. Really good weather. So we will uh, check in along the way. Hey guys, we're coming into the town of Bodie, which is uh, supposed to be one of the most well-preserved uh, ghost towns. The destination is on your right, Bodie. Still in, Washington, still in Washington State. And this is all over 100 years old, and as you can see, it's pretty uh, pretty run down here. Let me go over here. Set this stuff here. We're gonna pull over up here, and I'm just gonna get the drone out and kind of look at this stuff. It's pretty cool. Anyway, I'm going to pull over here and uh, we'll fly the drone around a little bit just to see what we can uh, get some video of and then we'll uh, be on to our next, next, next stop. All right, see you in a bit. Bye. Let's go over here and look at some more of these buildings. This almost looks like it might have been a school, potentially. I'm not sure. Um, this is really neat, though. Wow, that roof looks like it come down any time, though. Huh. This looks even more dangerous than <laughs> most of the mines we go into. Wow, look at this little construction here. Get this mortar, this old mortar here. Wow, that's really crumbly. It's really crumbly. Yeah, this is cool. So guys, there's a sign here that gives you the history of the town, and I'm going to read that to you. It looks like um, there was a first Bodhi that was south of here, and then it got the, the, they built a new one here. Um, the sign says, The first town of Bodie was started by prospectors at the mouth of Bodhi Creek about a mile south of here in 1896. There was a general store, a restaurant, a livery barn, blacksmith shop, and many homes, and they were all made of logs. The town was moved to this location when gold was discovered near here. A sawmill was also at the site, so nearly all the buildings were made of cut lumber. The mine changed hands several times and was owned from 1902 until 1911 by the Wrigley Brothers of the Chewing Gum Fang. Uh, that's interesting, I was not aware of that. Hmm. The mine was operated successfully until 1917, but was then idle until 1934. At that time, the mill machinery was replaced and the buildings were restored. Well, obviously, if you look at uh, what's here today, <laughs> it's been 86 years, so uh, it would have been great to see these in their heyday. Um, it says total mine production from 1903 until 1940 was um, $1,300,000. I'm assuming that is uh, money of that time, not our time, um, but I don't know that for sure. So, interesting information. That's pretty cool. Um, Okanagan County put this up so I'm glad to see this because a lot of these old buildings um, I've noticed up there in Okanagan County there are several of them but they don't they don't all have uh, placards or anything like this one does so cool stuff All right, everybody, we are now leaving Bodie, and we're going to head on down the road towards a little town called Chisa. Uh, Bodie is kind of the uh, the biggest that we're going to see. The other ones are smaller, so i um, probably spent more time here than we will the other places. But uh, anyway, heading down the road, so we will see you in uh, Chisa. Okay, making the turn here to Chisa. Um, when you're out in the country like this, I don't know if you guys can see this or not, 
So see these cattle guards like this? I'm going over it right now. And that's basically just to make sure that cattle don't wander out of the range area and onto the highway. Okay guys, this is downtown Cheesaw, and a whole lot here that I can tell. Um, like an old schoolhouse or something there, I'm not quite sure. I think maybe just the town itself is old fashioned with that building there. I wonder if they have a store here. store right here. What's well, cool? I don't see anything um, too exciting here. It looks like they have a rodeo over here, which is kind of cool. Wow. Now this really is a this is a ghost town. Yeah, I don't really see anything, guys. There are some uh, abandoned um, wrecked cabins off in the distance, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna stop and get out the drone and film those because there really wasn't much to see. Today. Timber look like crap, so I don't know. So, uh, that was Chisa. So, um, now we're gonna go to a town called Molson, which is up on the Canadian border. And I guess uh, they've got kind of an open air uh, display there, so we'll see what we got going on there. All right, see you in a bit. Bye. Okay, so we're out in the Chisaw now, and we're heading towards Molson, and uh, we're just out here in the wide open stretches of Okanagan County. This actually reminds me a lot of um, the Palouse, and uh, for, a, for a time I went to school over in Pullman, and uh, this is a lot like Pullman. It's kind of these rolling, rolling wheat fields, windy roads, blue sky, just uh, really pretty. But over in the winter time, it gets really cold, lots of snow. But right now, it's nice. It's a cool abandoned house right here. It's got uh, inhabitants right now. We're a bunch of cows, so that's kind of cool. Hey guys, we are at Molson, which is uh, has a population of 35. It says, and uh, we are literally a stone's throw from Canada. I mean, Canada is literally just across the border. I mean, I think those hills right there are Canada. So this is the little open air museum that we're gonna go check out real quick. So it's be pretty cool from what I understand. So, um, just gonna park here and go uh, check it out.
Okay, we are in Oroville, Washington, and this is like, uh, well, every town USA. This is really neat. It's just a old town, lots of old houses. Just, um, wow, this is great. This is really neat. Cool stuff. So, anyway, this is kind of coming up on Main Street here, I think, here. And I'm going to try to find a gas station and uh, buy some fuel. Oh, here we are. It's a Chevron. All right. That was easy. All right, guys, I'm going to get fuel and we're going to head to Nighthawk and call it a day. Everybody, we're pretty much done for the day. The, the bride and I are heading back to our um, our home. I call it a day. It's been a long day, but a fun day. A really good road trip. Lots of cool stuff to see. Lots of relics and stuff. And uh, the weather, as you can just see, has been absolutely stunning. So it's a great day to be up here in uh, North Central Washington. And uh, yeah, this, this is an area I've never been before. So. Um, All right, everybody, have a good day, and we will catch you later. All right, peace out. Bye.